With worlds this big, something's gotta give. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at 9 open world games everybody broke. Those aren't bugs, they're features. For this video, we're looking at games that can be torn apart if you know what to do, whether this is because they have a great modding community, or they're just that full of glitches. We got you. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Dark Souls Few games have fan bases as dedicated as Dark Souls and the other From Software titles. Dark Souls changed gaming, thanks in no small part to the incredible skill it takes to get good and master the notorious difficulty. But while people have long been sharing the best tactics to beat the game legit, others have been taking it apart piece by piece to find the best exploits. This is why Dark Souls is such an incredible game for speedrunners. It's so full of items you can manipulate and glitches you can utilize that challenging runs can be accomplished in under an hour. Assassin's Creed Unity. The biggest casualty of Ubisoft's annual release cycle has long been Assassin's Creed Unity, which was such a mess when it launched that it led to declining sales for Syndicate after a year-long hiatus. Unity was infamously broken at launch, with glitches ranging from a chronically low frame rate that made much of the game unplayable to characters' entire faces not being rendered. Ah, that's always so funny. Despite many updates and fixes, to this day, Unity still has issues, especially where the frame rate is concerned. The problems were so severe that Ubisoft had to give away the game's story-based DLC completely for free, but even that didn't undo the damage. <laughs> Fallout 3 What's up, Wastelanders? This is Street All Bow Wow, and you're listening to GNR. Resoundingly celebrated as one of the best RPGs of all time, Fallout 3 is just as famous for its quests and story as it is for its game breaking bugs. In typical Bethesda fashion, Fallout 3 in its original state simply does not work no matter what you try to play it on. Consoles are especially notorious, but the game functions so poorly that even high-end PCs can save players from having to save constantly to prepare for an inevitable crash. In the years since its release, modders have been working resiliently on Fallout 3 to try and patch out the bugs Bethesda is unable, or unwilling, to work on, and even then, you'll probably still run into plenty of issues. Superman Returns The Superman Returns movie was a firmly mediocre outing for Clark Kent, though Brandon Ruth's Man of Steel was at least fun to watch. However, whatever charm the often forgotten movie had was lost in translation when this tie-in video game was made. What makes the game so terrible isn't just the bare-bones plot and empty city, it's the extreme balance issues that arise from having full control of Superman. Superman is an invincible force of nature, with players given complete access to his vast array of powers. This makes the game painfully easy and lets you destroy Metropolis if you so choose. Superman games are always caught in this catch-22. You either weaken him to the benefit of gameplay, but to the detriment of the story, or you're stuck with an OP demigod. Just Cause 2 Mass destruction is a core gameplay element in the Just Cause series, as you need to earn chaos points to progress the game by blowing up anything and everything. In other words, breaking the game is part of the game and is readily encouraged. If you're still not satisfied, however, Just Cause 2 has no shortage of great mods taking this tenet to its extreme. One fan favorite is the Bolo Patch, which, among other things, makes Rico completely invincible and lets the player get an unbreakable rope and infinite ammo. So, if your only barrier to not being able to break everything in the game was running out of explosives, never fear. Rogue 
Raven's Cry. Ah, I see. Why, yes, Ray, do bring him in. Some games are full of technical issues, and we love them anyway. Others, not so much. Raven's Cry is one of those other games, which was so bad it was re-released under a new name after just months. And it was still terrible. Absolutely nothing about the game worked, from the uninspired voice acting to the Jack Sparrow knockoff protagonist to inexcusably bad graphics for 2015. <sighs> Trying to sail anywhere is a slog, with steering almost as unwieldy as a real-life pirate ship, and sword fighting is even more tedious. It's as if developers' reality pump went out of their way to create the worst pirate game of all time, and you'll probably break it if you tried to play it all the way through. <laughs> Fallout 76 When I learned that even if Fallout 76 worked exactly as it was intended, chances are it still wouldn't have been a great game. Namely, because it stripped away all the RPG elements that big-time Fallout fans expect and want from a Fallout game. It was plagued with technical issues at launch, as well as the usual crashes. One noteworthy oversight allowed players into the developer room where every single item in the game could be endlessly duplicated. In-game items were then sold online for real money, which led to widespread bans. There were even worse issues outside the game, including not-as-advertised collectibles, power armor helmets recalled for mold issues, and players getting accidentally doxxed when they posted on Bethesda's own support forum. 16 times the detail leads to 16 times the bugs, apparently. Grand Theft Auto V Few studios are capable of putting out experiences as streamlined as Rockstar. Their games are consistently best-selling entertainment giants with rich open worlds, outstanding stories, and incredible visuals. Maybe it's the high level of craftsmanship that has inspired players to find as many ways as possible to disrupt and conquer their games, and GTA V has one of the biggest mod libraries of all. Players have come up with many exploits to get as much money as possible as quickly as possible, specifically in GTA Online. But in the base game, you can be treated to mods that make vehicle deformities from crashes even more extreme, add in the Avengers, or get a gun that shoots live sharks. Let's see what you got. Ah! Ah! The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Bethesda's magnum opus is noteworthy not only for its world-building, story, and dragons, but also for being one of the most modded games of all time. While Skyrim will break for the player with minimal effort, especially if you were playing on PS3 back when the game was new, you can go the distance and use a bunch of exploits via the console commands for a truly wacky playthrough. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Enable God Mode, fly through the air like an eagle, change the scale of your character Ant-Man style, or spawn infinite dragons until the game implodes because it can't handle it. There are endless ways to break and rebuild Skyrim in whatever way you desire. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.